agriculture plays a significant role in a nation's development. For any nation to be self-sufficient, it must be able to feed its people and adequately be in a position to export goods and services. Tilapia culture and extension have been practiced for nearly 30 years, principally in the towns of Makali in the north and Bo in the south. According to a 1992 agricultural sector master plan, there was a total of 453 fish ponds in the 1990s. Over the past years, a social enterprise organization known as Skyfox Limited is supporting fish and crop farming across countries in West Africa. Skyfox is currently in the second phase of implementing its integrated agriculture and crop production project, which is targeting about 5,000 direct beneficiaries in Sierra Leone. The traditional space that we occupy is the water and sanitation sector. But water and sanitation, uh, we have uh, several uh, teams that uh, fall under the water and sanitation uh, work. Water for drinking is what every person knows, but we have taken a deep bite into water for food. And that is where the connections into our crop production, into our aquaculture production emanate from. With very passionate and anxious faces, you can feel the determination from these farmers, many of whom see farming as a primary source of survival. Securing Water for Food uh, is funded by uh, the governments of US, uh, the Netherlands, uh, Sweden and South Africa. The U.S. Ambassador to Sierra Leone, Maria E. Brewer, together with her entourage, made a visit to Njala University to discuss with the university authorities and community beneficiaries on the importance of Skyfox partnership into the agriculture sector in Sierra Leone and also to look at the impact the project has created. She used the opportunity to hear from farmers and university staff on their current activities with regards to their farming activities, especially on fish farming. Skyfox is providing improved fish feed and catfish fingerlings to these farmers. Explaining to farmers on the tour, the Dean of Natural Resources Management at Nchala University, Dr. Philip Monia, highlighted challenges they are facing especially with regards to generating power. During the visit, the ambassador also met with the project beneficiaries and discussed on the project's activities. Fish pond in particular, we, we, not, we all don't have the community, but we don't have the real fish country. Yeah. We will not be getting access to it. Because yeah. the help of God, um, sky falls in the real fish pond community. Yeah. 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 The yeah. 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 And presently, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, the fish food and stock for me, mm -hmm. will let them, then even the people in the back let the fish food and stock for me. One of the cats fish. Mm -hmm. It's very important and it's marketable to the people. Mm -hmm. uh, the market demand for catfish is high. Mm -hmm. And uh, also the even at community level, the consumption per demand. So that is what we are trying to see. And uh, also we are working in partnership with them, giving them the feed and uh, the, the finger in it. Yes. And then they grow them. They grow them to at adult. the end of the harvest. Yes, mm -hmm. we buy back from them okay. and we process. So we will deduct the cost of the feed and mm -hmm. the fingering because for now mm -hmm. they cannot afford mm -hmm. it. So at the end of the harvest, then we go into mm -hmm. percentage. So it's just like the business model. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like that question because why they feed the horse? Let the one who did it first. I don't feel happy. And some uh, more what will feed the day to see where they come. Like I'm here, don't you stop me now, right now. Uh -huh. Why they would they ask the enemy voice to know when they come? Oh, no. oh, they know you. <laughs> she expressed the light when she learned from the farmers that they are happy with Skyfox operations, especially with the type of species the project is culturing and the crop. The farmers also expressed the light over their involvement into the project, stating that they will replicate what they have seen and learned at the fish pond to their respective farms. 
Dr. Julius Olufemi Oladape is the head of aquaculture and fisheries management at Inchala University. He said they are partnering with Skyfox through the Securing Water for Food project to produce fingerlings for the project. Dr. Oladape called on government and individuals to help with the borehole and a 50 kVA generator to power an improved feed production machine which could provide about 1.5 tons of feed per day. We've been at this business for a very long time. Uh, with a lot of challenges. But if you are a man of faith, you definitely believe, like we in the academia, and uh, specifically Jala, we don't give up on anything. We continue to push until we get to where we are going. Jala has the potential to launch itself forward. Ayode G. Fagorohi is the Deputy Chief Executive Officer, Operations and IT for Skybox Limited. He said raising the fish is done with care together with supervision to ensure better yield. Ayodechi further explained that the broodstock pond is isolated in order to reproduce more fish. Like I said, we are into agricultural uh, projects. Uh, so what happened was that we actually participated in a challenge, uh, securing water for food uh, challenge, uh, where we you know, submitted proposal gave ideas on what you want to do based on what they, uh, uh, they, they, they called in the, in the proposal and we won that uh, 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 project so which is why we actually we are working in this line of business you know providing uh, infrastructure where there are no infrastructure we provide the infrastructure which is the fish ponds uh, in some areas we provide uh, surface tanks where you cannot uh, have this kind of ponds uh, we provide surface tanks where people can actually farmers can grow uh, 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 fish not only farmers even individuals known as fry in their early stages the fish are kept in a hatchery for a week and fed with artemia a process that occurs thrice a day after one week the fry are taken to the main pond and placed into the harbors to be nursed for three weeks in order to graduate to fingerling stages before taken to the farmers the farmers then nurse these fingerlings to a table size of rootstock and finally taken to the market for commercial purposes Jumatu A. Koroma is the aquaculture and production manager at Skyfox Limited. She delves more into the process of production. This is where production takes place. Um, before we do the production, first of all, we have to do what we call selection. Um, we select the good stuff, then we do sorting. We take out the garbage cleaning. then we have to do infusions. We use them with the moon. But for this process, we call it artificial breeding. It's not a natural breeding. Because of that fish, there are two types of breeding. We have the natural and the artificial. So we have to reduce the gravity feeling. Then we leave for 12 hours. Then we sacrifice the male. The good stock male. We remove the males from the male. Then after we strip the female. We have to split the egg from the female gently into a bowl. Then we take out the meat. We put together with the egg, the meat. Then we use this this sponge. This sponge will be inside of the water. Then we have to pour the egg. When we pour the egg, we leave for 24 hours. Then you will see. Then come out to detach from the egg. Then you see them come out. So from that stage is where we get the fly. In the main pond, they are classified and separated into different sizes in order to prevent cannibalism and invasion by predators. Between four and five months, farmers will be ready for harvest. While Skyfox provides improved fish feed and fingerlings for production, the farmers in turn provide labor in feeding and maintaining the ponds. Being a business agreement, Skyfox takes 70% of the produce to cover the cost of feed and fingerlings, while the farmers take 30% as profit. Okay, um, we get a project where we implement with uh, USAID. Generally, Skyfox is a private institution. So USAID gave um, some funds to Skyfox for implement integrated aquaculture. 
but the uh, challenge we get with the community is them. We all know aquaculture people in don't do them just for farm fish and eat them. Eat. Farm fish and eat. But for move them people and they from that stage the way then they to commercial level uh, some of the things then and they. So basically um, the communities they not be able for provide money now for buy them fingerlings or them fish feed. So we come in. We supply them the fingerlings, we give them the feed. At the end of the day, we come to an agreement, sign a paper that when they harvest, we take off the, um, the input cost, then the profit we go into share. If farmers are, however, not willing or able to take the harvest fish to the market, Skyfox will buy from them and process. As the project also focuses on crop farming, irrigation tubes are installed in various farms, especially bigger ones like two acres and above, as studies reveal that fish water also serves as organic manure for crops.